Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we are going to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. But before we do that, I want to ask you a question. What do you call an empty parrot's cage? A polygon. <laughs> All right, I'll stick to the mathematics. Okay, let's get started here. Uh, this is a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism is like a Kleenex box, just like this, all right? Has longer sides to it, all right? Not equal sides. This is a cube. A cube has equal sides, okay? You also notice that how many sides does a cube have? It has one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing as a rectangular prism. What I did is I took this cube and I kind of opened it up so you could see all the sides. And this is what we need to do with this rectangular prism. We need to find the surface area of all of these sides. So just like this Kleenex box, we might want to cover it with some fabric. So that's why we need to figure out what the surface area. It's not the volume. That's a different formula. All right, let's get started. And a formula, that's like a recipe, all right? Like for blueberry muffins. Whoa, I like blueberry muffins, I love them. All right, but back to the subject, okay. Um, here is a formula for surface area. Now, before you, you know, go to a different channel, I'm gonna make this easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy for you. This is the formula for surface area. Surface area equals two times length times width plus two times length times height plus two times height times width. Oh my goodness gracious, that is a mouthful. And it's a little difficult because like, what is height and width? And it's... Don't worry about it. I got an easier one for you right here. Here we are. Surface area. Surface area equals two times front or back, plus two times right or left, plus two times top or bottom. Well, you're saying, hey, I thought you are going to make it easier for me. Don't worry. Take a look at this. I even got an easier one for you. When we figure out the surface area of this ranked rectangle, all right, that is going to be the same as this side. Whatever this is, it's the same here. Whatever the left is, it's the same on the right. Whatever the top one is, it's the same on the bottom. So I got a new formula, and this is it right here. I told you I'd make it easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy for you. So the surface area equals two times the front plus two times the right plus two times the top. Way easier. So let's figure out what the front is, all right? It is this rectangle right here. Now remember how to find the area? That is length times width. All right, let's get started here. So I'm gonna put surface area right here, SA, equals two times the front, so I'm going to put a two here. The front would be, we do the length, that is two, times the width. Now, this line segment is the same as that line segment right there. That's three. This is three, this is three, and this is three. They're all the same. So I'm going to go ahead and put two times three. That dot right there means multiplication, okay? So let's move on. We have two times the right. All right. What is the right? It's this one right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this little rectangle out just to kind of show you a little bit here. Here's our rectangle here. This side right here, the length is five. And this side right here is three. All right. So we have five times three. Plus, now we're going to do the top. Pull the top off. Ooh, right. Just like that. All right. Here is the top right here. And this line segment is five, is the same as this line segment, and the same as this one. So this here is five, and now we got to find the width. So right here is two, this is two, and here is two. Dos. All right, we have five. Let's put the two here first. And I'm going to erase this so it doesn't get confusing. All right, two times the width times the length. Five times two. Pretty easy, all right? All we have to do is figure this out. So we have two times three, which would be six. So I'm gonna put the two here, and then six, plus two times, what is five times three? 15, all right? And then we're gonna go on to the, the last one. What is five times two? 10. You guys are super math ninjas. That's why I got my math ninja shirt on. Okay, so let's 
move on to the next step here. What is 2 times 6? 12. Plus 2 times 15? 15 and 15? 30. Plus 2 times 10? 2 times 10 is 20. Yeah! Golly, you guys are awesome today. Now we're going to add this up. So I'm going to move over here. So this is 12 plus 30 plus 20. Hope you can see me right there moving way to the side here. So 0 and 0 and 2 is 2. Dos. 3 plus 2 is 5 plus the 1 is 6. All right. Now, I didn't have feet or inches right here. I'm, I'm just using units, all right? So we're going to have 62 squared units right there. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, before you leave, I might even have an easier way to do this. All right, take a look at this. Here we have surface area, and that is 2 times front plus right plus top. All right, it's the same thing as we did 2 times the front plus 2 times the right plus 2 times the top, but why not just add them all together and multiply it by 2? So let's take, for instance, that the surface area of this rectangle, maybe that is 3, and the surface area of this rectangle that you've already figured out, you already took length times width, uh, this will be 5, and maybe the surface area of this one right here, that will be 6, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to just add these all up, all right? So this would be 3 plus 5 plus 6, and this will be our surface area formula. And we're going to multiply that all by these numbers right here. This would be our front, our right, and our top. So 5 plus 6 is 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have 14 right here, and the 2. 2 times 14, yeah, 28 squared units. Fast. You can do this in your mind. A lot simpler. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the show today. I'm going to make some more uh, examples like this on my channel, so check that out. Also, i got some other great videos out there, and I wish that you would subscribe and hit that little likey button. And like always, have a fun day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.